Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss top. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, outstanding. And all that other stuff, man. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> no, no, you know what they're Go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing. Go ahead and like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Threads, everything. Just type in Boss Talk Podcast 101 and you can find us on every platform. Thank you in advance for that follow. She back, guys. Uh, she's back, man. She don't need no introduction, man. She's a Boss Talk 101 <laughs> regular. She's always going to be here until I close these doors and we ain't going nowhere. Nina Loretta is in the building. What's going on? What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you looking good? Y'all. What's going on? Where you been? Um, don't grind. even worry about it, man. Grind. Don't even worry about on it, man. Grind. On the ground. On the ground. Oh, oh ground. hell. <laughs> man, so let's talk about it, man. Like, like what you been up to, man? You've been you've been taking care of business. I, the music. I, I'm gonna go and jump right in, you know, because I don't play on this show. I've been seeing somebody going at you, man. It's been uh, Tony Wilrich was on this show. Let's just gonna be real. And I did not know. I they I, they they showed me a song here, and I listened to it. And it was fire. And was the song was bumping. Okay, so y- y'all just said y'all heard the song was bumping, right? Yes. Okay, so the reason Tony dropped a diss track against me and Bree was because that song y'all talking about. We took him off the song. He wasn't oh. to the very end anyway. Yeah. He was on the ass end of it. So and Brittany was really want to put him on there anyway. So she was like, it don't make sense for him to be on there. Like, he just dry on there. What does it make sense? We might well just be me and you. I was like, just put him on there, blah, 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 blah. He's on the end of it, but that's Tony Wilridge. He had the buzz or something. Like, he was going to no jumper. And I know, didn't you, well, you went up there with him, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, who for getting all that? Let's <laughs> get all that. So why y'all put him on there in the first place if y'all gonna take so, him off? So it's Bree's song. Right. She she was in the studio getting mad. She didn't want him on the song. I was like, Bree, just let him on there. Oh, just so you convinced there. her to put him on there? Yeah, because I'm like, he really want to be on there. Right. Even the lady who came to the studio with me, she even commented on my post. She was like, I know he not talking when he was begging to be on that song. Right. But he really wanted to be on there. So I was like, Bree, just let him get on there or whatever. Because he had, he had another verse before the one he got now. And, and Bree made him change it in mm-hmm. order to get on there. Right. But yeah, I end up telling Bree like, uh, um, don't put that song out with my vocals on there if Tony's on there. Mm. So oh, she was what like, happened? What made? What? Where, where did the change of heart come from? Because Tony's just Tony just do so. Tony, I what like Tony before the disc. This is before the disc. Okay. So I like Tony. Tony's cool. He's just real. He's 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 weird and and very sassy. Like he's that friend you'll have to Musa <laughs> <laughs> with. So, uh, yeah. So he got on top of your nerves, did something to make you yeah, mad. Yeah, he, he just he just do a lot of op shit. So I was like, you know what? If you put that song out with him on it, take me off of it. Mm-hmm. And me and her sound good on the song. Right. So she was like, you know what, Tony ain't no factor. So just take Tony off. So. I woke up th- I woke up one morning and like I checked my DM. <laughs> like three different people sent me. They said, Tony dissing you. I said, What the fuck? He was just texting me two days ago. Right. Like literally just texting me two days before that. Wow, and he did and I, I seen the diss, it was it was he had just you up on the screen. <laughs> he talked about it, you know, that's how Tony do it. Like, um, you guys seem to have a good relationship going. Uh you end up going to uh LA with him. I think it was a purple uh, Lamborghini. I, he keeps talking. That's about. what he says. I just, you know, the Lamborghini is rented. It's not his Lambo. It's not his. That's the same Lambo he went to No Jumper and said, "Oh, I've been having rap money before to wrap my purple Lamborghini outside. That is a rental. It was picked up when we got there, dropped off before we left." A wow. Rental. So, <laughs> okay, run me down to the. So, why? What was the reason to get the Lambo? You just wanted to get that look, or? I mean, I guess he just wanted that look rolling up the no jumper. I mean, well, how was it? Look good. How did you? I mean, look like you gained a fan up there. A uh, Crip Mac. <laughs> they mean, all follow no, me. No, all no, no. I'm just talking about Crip Mac. 
I he saw ran where he, through yeah. the thing looking for you. I, I want to talk about that for a minute. What did you do? What What was you wearing? How was you? What was you doing up there? <laughs> so when I first saw Crip Mac, he was coming out the room from them um, recording. So I was walking out the bathroom. All I did was walk by. I ain't no groupie or nothing, so I ain't speak to the nigga. I ain't acknowledge him. I just walked by and sat on the couch with, with Bree. And he like, yeah, God damn, cuz, who, who, who is that bad stitch or whatever? What the fuck he said? Who is that stitch right there? <laughs> like, whatever the fuck he be saying. And he was just on my trail since then. Wow, so... He really he he was interested and in, he you know he does he does have yeah a he old, called me a big a, a six a six sooty sitch which means big booty <laughs> bitch <laughs> he said who is that six six sooty sitch damn yeah. so and when you you guys when you guys <laughs> I mean you you guys I, you know how he is he does have an OnlyFans uh, a page Crip Mac got an OnlyFans yes. yeah, um. I just was wanna know if you would be would you be interested in in the OnlyFans page with uh Crip Mac? No. I'm just, no. <laughs> because Crip Mac has OnlyFans and No Jumper actually Adam twenty two was the one suggested it according to Lupe mm -hmm. that he get an OnlyFan and basically that's what they're into, you know, that that's a whole nother world I, up I there. I personally don't wanna see it. You don't want to see it? No, but I'm pretty sure he makes some money because I'm pretty sure there's people watching it. Because mm -hmm. it probably funny. Yeah. I, I personally don't want to watch that. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> do you have OnlyFans? Uh-uh. Okay. So, because <laughs> this is a big thing that everybody, a lot of people are doing. That's why I'm wondering, did you ever? Yeah, 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 my partner say he, it's people on there looking at toes and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The toes. The toes will make a lot of money. Yeah, you ain't even have to have, you know, intercourse or nothing. Like, this is the show all that. I'd be damned if I pay for a hose toes. That's you. Yeah, that's 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 we we'll never a pay for a whole But toes. imagine, all you got to do is show your toes. You ain't got to do nothing Man, else. Are you making money? All day. <laughs> you making money? What? Wait, so okay, so you basically um you were in LA. You, you I mean, how was the vibe? I mean, you this is something I want to hear about. Was the vibe good? Did you go to Roscoe's? Did you put your chain in? You know, you don't want nothing no, to happen. To, did you check in? You know what I'm saying? What the hell was going on up there? Um, so we didn't even know Crip Mac was coming when we first got there. We thought the interview was just gonna be with Tony and um Brick Baby. Brick Baby and um, you thought it was uh, Adam Twenty Two uh, uh, Sharp Sharp. Okay. So when they when we got there, they waited good until we got there, and it was like uh, Crip Mac coming too. I'm like, oh man, Tony, you better get ready because he, he Crip Mac be talking shit. But yeah, it was it was it was a cool interview. It just you know they 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 real Crips, so they had they shit. There was just a lot of shit talking. That's all. Pretty I mean, much. I mean, are you? I mean, is that something you attract to that gang life up there in LA? They turn you look at she's smiling. You like them gang niggas. I like gangsters. So them gang niggas, <laughs> that's what you like up there. I don't think I would be in a committed relationship with a with with somebody that's. I don't know. I can't even say that because my husband is a, a, a crip gang banger down here. Bam. I didn't even think your husband is a crip. He a crip banger. Yeah. Crip Mac need to understand what he up against when he dealing with you. <laughs> Carter posted it and laughed about it. Oh, he did. Yeah. Okay. So how how um yeah how's he doing? I know I know that's the thing that you, you know how's how's your husband doing? He good. Trying to get out early. Trying when to get is out he early? supposed to get out? It's supposed to be twenty twenty eight, but um I just got him another lawyer, so hopefully that work out. How is it trying to hold somebody down? You know, it, it, why they gone like this? It's really, it's really new for me because I really did, did a three sixty with my whole life and my character and everything. I'm not nothing like I used to be. So like the old me, the minute the police slam that door, I'm gone. Yo, yeah, deuces. <laughs> I ain't hold nothing down. I ain't answer no phone call. I ain't putting nothing on your books. Da, 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 da. So this the first nigga ever. I didn't held down, and it's 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 a lot. It's really like you doing that time with them. Yeah, you gotta yeah. go through everything with them. Yeah, you the first person they call, you the first person they cry to. You 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 just really doing that time with them, and it be like, oh my god, visitations. So, but why him though? Like what you said, this is the first. What's special about him? I know he's your husband, but what's so special? Why you decided to do this with him? I'm just. 
Well, to sum it up and make a make a make it a short story, I'm a solid person. Like when I lock in with you, I'm locked in with you. Like I'm, it's hard to lock in with me because I'm so guarded. But once I lock in with you, I lock in with you. And the thing with Carter is, if I didn't know what was going on, I probably would have left. But it's like, not only did I know what was going on. I was taking the risk with him. I was doing the work with him. I was doing whatever he was doing. I was doing it with him. Mm-hmm. So it would be fucked up of me to leave him when he go to jail and I was out here. All the risk he was taking, he was really doing it damn near for me. And I was doing it with him. So why leave him when he get caught in that jail? Because it could have been the other way around. It could have been me. Right. So, yeah. Man, that's... that's I just, it just be a loyalty thing. That's yeah. solid, though. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's solid. I, I, I hear y'all with your, with your <laughs> bang up to that solid, though. Yeah, you like know. I told him, even if we break up, I'll still be there. Like, i still hold him down, still make sure he's straight, still all that. It's just a loyalty thing. Even if we not together, we be together, not together. It's just a loyalty How thing. hard is it to be um, waiting? Because I hear a lot of relationships. I hear a lot of different um, people. Some men be like, well, just do you, but when I come home, it's me. Or... No, you need to stay so- all the way down yeah, for me. Yeah, Carter is stay solid, stay down, da 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 da. Is, but you know how hard is that? I mean, it ain't really hard because it's like I I don't know. It it ain't really hard because it's like you don't want to be out here just fucking with every everybody and then when you a known name in the city you get a reputation then it's like exactly like right now my name's so known i got bitches lying on me bringing up niggas that i didn't fuck before i even knew my husband existed oh that's why she fucked so and so 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 i didn't even know my husband existed and it gets back to him but he already know about it okay he knew who i fuck with before him i didn't just go fuck with him and say i when i fuck when i met him i told him everybody i didn't fuck with in this dallas fort worth area it's no surprises this is who i didn't fuck with mm. but he already know <laughs> that's good yeah wow um you 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 every time i call you it's something okay <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I go, I start looking at different things, you know. I say, well, you know, hopefully she all right out there. You know, I, I, I you will answer. I ain't going to lie. You can answer my call. I just be checking on you, trying to make sure she good. You know what I'm, you know how I do. Mm-hmm. I check on everybody. Once you locked in with me, I'm with you. Don't mess up out there. We ride and ride or die. How are you how are you moving around in these studios at night? How are you you as a beautiful woman, you out here trying to make you know, make this music, you 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 having to be your own stand on your own too. How how are you doing that? Um, I really only go to uh one studio and the studio I go to it's like five minutes from my house and it's literally family over there, like people I know from back home in Monroe. Then the rest of the people like it's owned by a preacher, like it's not a million niggas, street niggas with guns coming in and out. It's none of that. Like, it's real peaceful, real quiet, real safe. So it's not one of those environments. These That's niggas good. ain't out here trying to uh, pump fake with fake features, trying to get you to their studio. These niggas slick. I know these oh, niggas. Yeah. Stop playing. Yeah. I got a DM full of niggas like that. <laughs> trying to pump fake. Yeah. They act like they want to do something, but they, you know, they... They, they want to talk. They yeah. send that deposit. Pay, they and they'll send pay you all this sort of money? If you nah. go, huh? And they'll pay you for it, too. Oh, they will pay. They will pay if you make them pay. All you got to do is nobody want to fuck with you. Pay. Pay me to see me. You know, that's what I, I heard one girl said, that if you got blue checks, then, you know, uh, she, you getting that DM, and if you tell her you're going to send, you're going to give her some money, she jump on the flight, no problem. Yeah, these hoes <laughs> out here will go get that money. You're <laughs> I'm being real. So now you 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 didn't come when when you know we we know the surgery thing is real, right? Mm-hmm. You told me on here on Boss Talk 101 that you wasn't doing no exercise, you chopping everything. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's what you told me. So I well, mean, look, I got a personal trainer now. Okay. Oh, oh wait you started working so out. Yeah, yeah, I got a personal trainer. Out. I ain't started yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me about how when when you know DC Young Flies uh, uh, better half mm-hmm. when when that happened to her with that total uh, baby mama makeover. makeover like like what did you think? Well, I honestly so she had just had a baby like mm-hmm. a couple months before that, not even a year, right? Right. 
So normally, like I know my doctor who did all my surgeries, he say like you can't even have surgery until like a year or a half really? after you have a baby. Because you know when you have a baby, you put your body in shock. So if you go have a baby, you put your body in shock, and then a couple months later you go get surgery. Surgery put your body in a major shock. That's why you're under anesthesia and all this stuff. So I feel like no, go ahead. I feel like she um. I feel like she put too much stress on her body because I'm not going to say it's the doctor because she didn't die on the table. She died, what, three days later at her hotel? Oh, really? really? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, so she you died three days later at the hotel. She didn't die on the table. Yeah. And that, and, and and therefore, he he feels... That's what... I, I guess I seen where he had took her picture off his page and some more stuff. Yeah, because people would... would, would people was uh, bashing his business, his company, but... Realistically, if you had surgery before, you know it's not his fault if you didn't die on that table. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, I don't know, but I just feel like she put too much on her body. Like, from having a baby, then going to get surgery. I just feel like it was too much. Wow. And and far as when you look at, like, the way you look at surgery and, and, and doing different things, did that make you second guess doing it or if you were going to do it ever again? Mm-mm, I'm going back. You going? Oh, you going back? <laughs> you and, and one you, more time, cause what? I got I gotta get these titties back to the size I was born with, cause I, these double D's is just giving very much white bitch. So you don't want people to look at you as a, 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 a like a white girl. You well, I, I want I want the titties I was born with, but sitting up like boom. Okay, and so, yeah. and so you got the same doctor that. Yeah, put him, put I ain't him never, him. I ain't never went to a different doctor. So he he waiting on you to come back through so he can reduce. Yeah, I him just talked to him. He waiting on my pictures, and I'm gonna get uh, another BBL, but mainly for hips, and then I'm done. I ain't going back no more. Don't you think that this is quite? Uh, 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 this is something you know. When you get one tattoo, you end up getting two or three. You are addicted. I told you in the last thing. Yeah, you did. I'm just so saying. No, so you you sure you're gonna be able to kick this habit? Yeah, until I'm like maybe. 50, 60 or something I needed. You know, when I'm rich and famous and I got the money like that to where I'm like, oh, I'm 50 something. I see a wrinkle. Let me go get some Botox or something. <laughs> <laughs> but Botox isn't surgery. That's just an injection. Yeah, injections, you know. But then, um, is there, do you think, okay, I know you're not a doctor, but do you think that there should be a limit of how much, how many surgeries a person can go under? Especially plastic surgery. But look, most of the famous girls you see with the nice shapes and big booties, they they on three, four rounds. That ain't just one or two rounds. That's a couple rounds. I think R we didn't have what I mean, I don't want a mistake, but I know more than three rounds. Hmm. How many surgeries have you had? I only had one BBL. On I one. had uh my stomach did before the BBL. Then after I got my stomach did I went back and got the boobs and then six weeks later I went and got the BBL. Because I see a lot of these celebrities, including like Kim Kardashian, and I think um, was it Black China who took theirs out. Was it was it Black China? Yeah, Black something? China. She's going they to church now. They took theirs out. They took I theirs. Don't have, I, I don't. That's, I don't have yeah. nothing to take out. No, this is my real fat. So once you, with a BBL, it's your real fat attaching to other fat. That's why mm -hmm. I take six weeks. To, it's, it's your real fat. Okay. So with them shots, I guess they just taking the shots out. Mm. Damn. It's it's tough being a being a. Uh, they could take some of the fat out and move it. Yeah. Y yeah. I, that's why I went when like when I did get my BBL, I told him make me very natural, and he was like, "Well, usually I would advise that you go dramatic because, you know, uh, no, let me tell you why." He was like, "You go dramatic because people don't understand the the butt you wake up with. That's your swollen butt. That's just the butt that got to heal." So after six weeks of healing that butt, it's gonna go all the way down and you're gonna get your real results. So that butt you fell in love with when you woke up is not gonna be the butt you have in six weeks. Which makes now. sense. So yeah. if you get it extra, if you get it dramatic, more so dramatic, it more, yeah. so that means that when you wake up, it's gonna look to you, it should look like really huge. Yeah, so like if you get a dramatic BBL, you probably wake up and it's like really, really huge and look like, oh my God, my butt is too big. But just be patient. When that six month, when that six weeks is up, it's gonna go down so much to the perfect size to where you like, okay, it was just swollen. Cause when I first got my BBL, um, even Terry Blue was like, I don't know, Nina, I think you did too much. Too much. Uh huh. <laughs> it's like you did too much. But when it went all the way down, and that's it, I lost my hips in two months. 
the hips I got, they was gone in two months. I was back to my natural hip dips in two months because and I he I did he did your hips. Yeah, but it but was gone. I didn't follow instructions. instructions. She clearly told oh, me, okay. Dude, "Don't sleep on your hips. Don't sleep on your butt. Sleep on your uh, stomach." stomach. But me, I couldn't sleep at night. I'm going from hip to hip to hip to So hip. you lose it if you sleep on it. Yeah, if you sleep on it before it heals. So you, what it means when you're giving it time to heal, you're giving that fat that they put in there time to connect with that fat that you have. Okay. So it becomes one. So if you sleeping on that fat before it even heals and becomes one with your other fat, you're going to lose it. Mm. Like you ain't gave it time to absorb yet. So mm -hmm. it's, it's going to leave fast. But you say you don't work out, but then I hear a lot of people who do surgeries always say that you're supposed to work out to keep everything the way. So listen, I, I, I'm finna start working out, but I still can't do too much because the, the thing is why go, why work out and go full throttle and I'm finna go get surgery. So it'll be better to gain whatever weight I'm trying to gain and prepare for the surgery. And then after my six weeks of healing, then start going full throttle with working mm. out. For right now, it would be best to tone the legs, tone, tone all this bottom. So when I do get surgery, everything is nice and toned up. And then once you get the surgery, then you go full throttle with it. What size were you before you got those double Ds? Um, a 36C. So you were a C. So that's what you want to go back down to. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to be real with you. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you you thirty six C, huh? That would you yeah, you gonna mess around and you better quit playing with these. Folks. You gonna miss them double D's watch. <laughs> you like gonna that. you gonna go back call them out. I think I need them back. <laughs> no, I, I think you um you you know, you getting ready. Um I don't know if you heard it, but B G's home now, so mm -hmm. and uh yeah, get it together. how's he looking though? Let's let's talk about this for a <laughs> minute. No, you niggas gonna have to call tell me the truth now. Like like BG's home. He's been viral. Uh they put a few faces on this is part of coming home now. This is a <laughs> this is a whole different ball game now. I wanna hear your your opinion of what How you long see. was he in jail? Eleven years. I want to know what your opinion is on BG. Well, well, the thing is, people do age, so you can't think that he was going to go in the way he looked and come out 11 years later and look the Well, I ain't same. say nothing about it, how he look. No, I'm saying that's how he been going on the viral on the internet for how he look. And then when he got his dreads done, this man got 30-inch dreads, bro. Of course, when he flickered, he was just like... What? What? <laughs> they just caught him at that angle. Yeah, it was an angle. Wait a minute. They, they was telling him to flip his dress and he was trying to low key smile. So he was like, Thank you. It's the angle. I've been telling them. I say it's just that angle. Now, I seen him when he flipped his dreads. You know, dreads is something, you know, women, they wear long hair. Um, me and you know I, I don't wear long. I'm hair. from Jamaica. You have a lot of dread. You I'm have just, a lot hey, of dreads in Jamaica is, with long to the floor. You know, hair. Mm -hmm. you know, you know. Uh, when a man flip his hair back or put it in a bun, uh, I was just at the barber shop today and they made this analogy. Um, there was a few people in there that had uh, had you know they they had long hair. You know, you go, you know mm -hmm. where. I'm, and um, my barber uh, pretty much said that it's a. It's somewhat of a fem feminine. Uh, uh, That's not true. Well, I'm just telling you what my barber said. I, okay. I, he said that when they flip their hair back or they got a bun, it looks kind of because you're not used to seeing men like that. Some women like that because even I remember oh, the back some in the day. Women hang with uh, uh, a different type of man no, than, 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 listen in to, their way. No, but listen well, to this. Of course they okay. like it. Y'all young, but I don't know if y'all remember when Fa Fabio came out with a long hair and he would always swing it, whatever. Women were going crazy, because of course he had a sexy body with it, but you know, women it's were Fabio. going crazy over him. Look it up, he was hot. <laughs> Back in the days. That's some pretty boys. I don't if know. you got that long hair, I don't know. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill. I don't know, I don't know, uh, I, I just don't know. That's if I want you to grow your hair out, you um, wouldn't do it for me? Um, you know, I'm, I'm a Mandingo warrior, you know? <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, you know, I didn't. I, you should have called me 20 years ago. This is not happening in today's time. This is probably how I'm going out. You know, I'm still, <laughs> stiff as they come. But oh, no, I, I mean, but but BG home, the music sound good. Boosie was rocking out to mm -hmm. it. Yo, I heard you know, like like, what did you think about? It? Did you hear? You heard it? Yeah, I heard it. Was what old. did you think it about? Like it? The old it sound BG. hard, didn't mm -hmm. it? Now, just like the old BG, I can't lost the lost the touch. Wow, you looking forward to it? Do it? Would you do mm -hmm. some music with BG? Hell yeah. 
You from Louisiana? He from Louisiana? Why he couldn't we say? Give me a feature, y'all. When you drop this clip, y'all tag BG and tell him I need a feature. She need a feature. That'll, um, that'll go hard though. Go hard. Well, it you, would. Definitely, man. So, so what's the new music? Let's talk about it. Uh, what's the new project? I know about the one with you and uh, uh, Bree. Yeah, don't say Tony. Bree. <laughs> uh, 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 Tony don't get to, get to be on it. Y'all kicked him off. Um. So me and um Cree Montana just dropped a song called Project Chip. And okay. Now I'm just working on my um, EP. So my EP is what we gonna push and market while I'm making the album. So right now it's just like work time. It's like no distractions, straight work, straight focus. Wow. Cut everything out for the rest of the year. If I cut everything out for the rest of the year and focus on music, I'm gonna have a life I want in January for sure. In January. That's when the album plan. gonna drop? Since you you gonna do that? When would the so album? I already come got. Out? A, I'm only doing a seven song EP. Only seven. So okay. I'm already. I already really got seven songs, but I want to record most songs to show like versat versatility. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna uh, record like three more songs, and then I'm gonna put that out next month. Mm. Yeah. I know you and you and um, Boosie. Yeah, you you never did a song with Boosie, right? No. Um, is that something that you would do? That's something he been told me I could do. He was like, uh, when they reached out to me and told me they wanted to work with me again, it's like whenever you're ready to do a song, just come out here. Just it's just shit, just rocky in the camp. Like it ain't even got nothing to do with me. Shit is very just rocky. It's a lot of stuff going on with the young blue situation, the brother. That shit I seen the brother a lot of on Tay yeah. G's. That's what I heard. Um, then you know, my first time I, I heard you talking about you, you know, when you wasn't with, over there with him no more. Then I hear the brothers say cheese, young blue. Uh, you know they they. It's a lot going on. It's a lot to yeah, digest, and, and it's a lot. It's 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 more of a problem because they all are real family. These all these people are blood. Besides blue, blue the only mm -hmm. one that ain't blood from the managers, from the brothers, from from Boosie, the brothers. These are all mama, daddy, sisters. Like they all blood. Do you? Do but you, people don't understand with blood. You know how you have dis disagreements and arguments and you fall out, but you gonna always come back together eventually. Yeah, that's what people don't understand. Do you think that uh, Young Blue was wrong for kicking T. Rail off of the tour, for him not uh, for for Boosie posting his picture? He kicked look, him off the tour. Now look from a artist perspective. From an artist perspective, I'm gonna speak like Blue, not my homeboy. And then Blue, I'm your speak, homeboy. My real homeboy, I can call Blue right now. Okay, well let's talk about it. I'm glad. I'm glad about that. Get out now. there now. So listen, I'm gonna say how I feel from an artist and from his homegirls. Like from an artist standpoint, I feel like no, he shouldn't have took him off because whatever Boosie and Blue got going on, that ain't really got nothing to do with T-Real. He should have kept him on the tour. If not for himself, he should have just made a chess move. Like, damn, even if I do keep him on the tour, I'm going to still make money off the nigga or whatever the case may be. He should have kept him on there. But from a homegirl standpoint, I know how I am. So if right now, if I see somebody fucking with somebody I don't like and I got you on the show of mine or doing anything dealing with me, you getting cut off. But even if you knew in advance, you already knew that they were friends. You already knew they've been messed, you know, it, cool. It, that's, so that's a lot of that, and I could put a personal situation. Like, if I'm in tour with somebody and we, we have a lot of mutual friends, and because of the because of our beef is so strong, now all our mutual friends have to pick a side. But that's, so it, that's not fair. It's not fair, but that's just how sometimes it works, like, when, when, when shit not about business, when you putting it from a personal mm -hmm. perspective, you like damn near. That's really what happens. Exactly, your friends end up having to pick a side, and so basically, Blue probably felt like, oh damn, if I put you on my tour, then you would probably be able to tell Boosie where my room at, where blah blah this, where this say. You would probably be the a nigga to set me up to get hurt or something. Like mm -hmm. you never know what his mind was. That come with it. He probably had his guard up with it, but. Yeah, and it okay. messed up the tour because the tour canceled. Yeah, now. it's canceled. I, I don't know what that's about. I still got another question. Like um, Rainwater came on and he says that uh, he can't Boosie. He can't get Boosie to get on Mo 3's new project because Gazi and Boosie has issues. Do you think Boosie should get on the new project? That goes back yeah. to what I'm saying. It mm -hmm. caused conflict. That is this. Uh, it messed up the money. It's all picking side. It's messing up the money. It's messing up mm -hmm. the business. That little bitty family problem 
It's fucking with a lot of people's money. It's fucking with a lot of people's business. It's it's probably going to go way further than it got to go when it's really between family and it should have never hit the internet. I hate when family problems hit the internet. If you family, friends, or whatever, and it hit the internet, it's done. They should just keep it in the house. coming back to keep it in the house, especially we family, friends, anything like that. Once you take it to the internet, we can never go back. Wow. Mm -hmm. Especially if you got my number, you know where I live. Like, no. They should have kept it off the internet. They brothers. Mm -hmm. They should have kept it off the internet. Yeah. So do you? You okay? And I, I can't. Hey, I can't. I can't do nothing but just respect your opinion. You know what I'm talking about? Um. So Dallas, and, I and got I'm a gonna, question. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here in a minute. But go and get get a, get, get no, your question. No, um, in. I'm gonna go back to Rain again because something he said the other day. He said that um, sexy red gorilla. <laughs> And who the yeah. other one? Sexy There's another red one. And Glorilla and somebody and else. Uh, uh, so so Saki? No, what's her yeah, name? Suki. Yeah, Suki. Yeah. So yeah. they messing up the music with the type of songs they're singing. Rain they're is rapping. pissed off about it. Rain say they suck. They, he don't like it. This they messing up the music. Well, look, listen, what do you think as a female? People can say whatever they want about Rain. He know what the fuck he be talking about. He know what the fuck he doing. Wow. Me and him cannot get along on a personal level. If I was to start working with Rain, we will probably be the artists and, and people who argue and fight all fucking of day because that's just the type of relationship we have. Like, he knows what he's talking about. I feel like they music is not... Um, it's cool for the moment because, you know, we in a generation where we like to turn up, we like to be ratchet, do 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 But they music not forever. It's going to fade real quick. Motherfuckers will probably be on to the next song in a couple of months because it's not. So sexy red says his her, her, her <laughs> booty hole brown and a pussy pink. You know everybody heard the song and they they lost it. Like what the hell just? It's happened? good marketing. It's funny. It's 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 a fun song. Like if you in a club turning up, it's a fun song. You got to think of our generation today is fucked up. Our generation can't listen to the songs well, they used to play back in the days and the songs used to be hard. Not even Gucci no more? Gucci no, gone. I don't even hear Gucci play. Mm -hmm. All I hear not is... Even, not even... Uh, I hear uh, music I never heard in my life. What's the hottest song? Like, you go out now. What's the hottest song uh, out uh, right uh, now? Uh, Ski! Uh, what's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's it! That's it! Who is that? Who's in red? red? Oh, yeah. This house is going Ski. crazy. Yeah. She hit that For butt. Sure. They did that remix on that butt, butt, butt. They, yeah, they I, hit heard that that. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. I seen I said, boy, these <laughs> niggas, these young folk crazy as hell. They got them something. <laughs> I love the way you guys, you know, I, I definitely love the way y'all keep fighting to try to keep hip hop alive. I get it. You know what I'm saying? We we, we, we respect it. I'm checking it out. I'm seeing what's going down. I'm yeah. picking up what you're putting down, too, little nigga. So go do your uh, thing. Uh, uh, did you see? You got it, no. <laughs> Gotta tell me what you thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> one, one through three, Tony, Bri, or Nina. Damn, I'm a Nina fan, so I can't. That's not fair. I'm, a, I'm a fan. The same. I'm a Nina fan, so that's not fair to them, really, because I wasn't <laughs> listening to them before. I'm being real. You, my girl. I, I ever since we met. Even though you ran for a long time, oh, you wasn't doing right. You're not gonna let I that go. Never gave up on you. I never gave up go. on you. You finally got over here, just like everybody else. Once you get over, you like, oh hell, now them's good folks. You know what? I'm gonna yeah. ride with them niggas, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, man, like, like I enjoy you coming on the show. I, I'm not gonna hold it to a 16 today. We mm -hmm. we gonna do it. Uh, we'll do it I was another hoping time. You said no time. Yeah, because I know you. I, I figured I was like, she ain't ready today because we just jumped up and came over here. But cause, yeah, cause you just called me out the blue, like, come on. No, because you should have been here already, nigga. And Stop you don't. You, you can call because you don't ever know which one, which time she gonna actually turn up. Well, we don't want to talk about what happened last time she supposed to been here because she, you know, she's a wild girl. You know what oh, I'm talking Lord. about. <laughs> but thank you for coming on the but show. How can people get but hold on? What but, I'm but shut with, this whole yeah, down. But with. Um, <laughs> But with the songs, <laughs> with the songs that we were talking about, Sexy Red and all them, um, people always say, yeah, it's cool, but I wouldn't let my kids listen to this stuff. Yo, yo, hey, don't your, your kids, your kids listen, listen to, to it? You, you're not in your kids' face 24-7. They be on their phone. All my kids have phones. I promise you, when they in their rooms and they in their beds, you, don't, you do not know what they watching and listening to. And Sexy Red is all over TikTok. They going to... 
fall, they gonna scroll through a lot of sexy red. They gonna hear it. So being Regardless. a parent, how can you educate? Because I always feel like all of the discipline starts at home. So how do you educate your kids? Yes, they can listen to all that, but how can you make them not succumb to all of the it's really evils all in about, the world? It's really all about their upbringing, how you raising them, who you raising them around. See, I was blessed to have my um Grandma. my granny. Yeah, yeah, my grannies love my daughter. Did she wear like Del. a big big house coat? Del. That type of grandma, <laughs> or was she was she on, was on she a fine, Instagram? Oh, well, she on Instagram. Grandma, my grandma oh, she, a, she, she had an old house coat on to swing her arm like that. My grandma was a hot girl back in the day. <laughs> no, I ain't talking <laughs> about back in the days. I'm talking about how she do it now when the kids are. She cook some cornbread, hot oh, she water cornbread. Cook. Oh, she gonna cook some yeah, soap. Grandma for got show, to cook, man. Somebody, but yeah, y'all see uh, something? They better not be knocking on that door. Gonna get blowed on way from it. But yeah, the way my uh, <laughs> grandma helped to raise my daughter, my, my daughter is real... Uh, she, she got an old soul. Okay. How old is she? My daughter, 10. She got okay. a real old soul. So I, I it's like I don't even be worried about her. She mm-hmm. she got a mouth of her own. It's like she been here before. Like she was reincarnated or something. Okay. This girl told me. <laughs> like for real, it's really all about how you raise them. They can listen to that type of music, but they are still, they know better. Mm-hmm. Like I can listen to this, but I know better than to do that. I know better than to say that. Because of how you That's all raised. you can teach them because they going to hear it. Yeah. How, how, who would you like to work with in Dallas or in period? Don't just everywhere. Who would you like to work with? Shit, I probably got something lined up or then had something lined up with, with everybody, everybody in Dallas. Um, would you work with Sexy Red? Hell yeah, like <laughs> of course. Her. But like but uh, who who that's who you would like to work with? And you said in Dallas. No, have to be just anywhere. Anywhere. I, I'm not gonna do you like that. I wanna um yeah, Sexy Red. I work with Sukiana too. I like their personality. But they messing up hip hop, you know. Y'all was full of it, man. Let me get you right can't there. say they messing up hip hop. They fun. That's why I said they music is for the moment. It's not some shit that you'll play, that you'll just be driving and listening to a year or two from now. Like it's for the moment, very for the moment. We're gonna turn up to it right now, but in the future, it's just gonna be like I don't want to hear that. When we gonna see you in a movie? Ooh, um, soon. I'm gonna put this two bit movie together in a minute. Yeah, I need to shit. be on that, but uh. So um, I was filming a TV uh, series with um, TV Now Network for Finesse. They ain't been filming, but um, I did a couple episodes with them, and then they started doing the classes, et cetera, et cetera. How did so it do? You liked it? Yeah, I liked it, but we went back into classes, so because I guess they didn't like something about the first episode. They didn't like the quality or something, so we went back into the drawing board and started getting classes and stuff. But, yeah, um... I just talked to them last week. I'm actually going to go back and start going to the classes so I can prepare for the role. This is he, acting classes. Yeah, because he keep installing in my head like, Nina, 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 I know you busy, but this is an important role. Yeah. The person I'm playing is a very, very important role. He was like, Nina, if you ain't got time, just don't do it because this is an important role. You got to be Who here. is she? Um, Her name is Persuasion. She's like a, a, a conniving um Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so is it hard to play her? It's it's very easy to play her, actually. Okay. Yeah. I, I used to be just like her. <laughs> I, I, I like to see you play uh, Mia X in a. In I would a love to play movie. Mia X. Mm. Let's, let's yeah, get it Mia X movie. Yeah, let's get it popping. How was it down there when everybody can't come up here? Looking at ass niggas over there rapping numbers, <laughs> rapping economics. How I was that? They cool. I fuck with them. Only thing I don't I, I don't I dislike about they videos. I love I, I that my boy that my boy I just had him on here so don't don't go too no, hard. No, no, I fuck with them. I love them. Don't go too no, hard. No, I'm saying on. the only thing I don't like about the videos, like some of the videos when they put on Instagram, a lot of people have short attention spans. So when they put that long intro like Welcome to rap. This is rap economics. Okay. Everybody can't. And they start showing all them other people doing their freestyles and mm-hmm. videos and stuff. That's like a minute long. They so click off t- of it. Yeah, by the time the actual video come, they done clicked off of it. Like, I sat there and watched my brother do it. He didn't know I was behind. <laughs> and it was my video finna come up. He didn't even know that was my video finna come up. He clicked off the video before the intro was even done. I was like, yeah, that intro is super, super long. Hmm. I think, and that's on YouTube. Or are you talking to Instagram? Instagram. Oh, Instagram. On Instagram, like before the before the video, them rapping plays. Right. It's a long intro, and like and I you said, can't even fast forward it on exactly. Instagram. And people got short attention span. Right. They scroll by. Well, I yeah. think, like I said, that's you, good went, feedback. you went hard on there, but I think that yeah, that's constructive. That constructive. I'm gonna call them. Criticism. No, I'm gonna call and tell them. 
I, I had told him. That's you why I caught my video. I caught oh, really? the intro out of the video. I, I seen it on your page. page. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah. What you yeah. tell? What, what did they say when you told them about? I don't that? remember. I don't remember. I think I had asked them to crop the video, and um, I ended up cropping it myself. I don't remember. Mm. That's it, man. Man, that's all I want. I just want to see what's going down with the movement. That's all. That's For all. Sure. So, Anything else we left out? No, hell no. I don't be missing. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to her. I, watch this. All right, y'all know I can pull back up whenever. Oh, that might. You better get whatever you can. I know. Right now, I she I know. <laughs> <laughs> but she said it cool too. This. I know. I can pull back yeah. up. This nigga she ain't coming back. back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? Um, Nina, uh, shit, Instagram. <laughs> Is it that? What, what, what you been drinking? Hey, Tell us about that drink. This Houston juice is literally um, marijuana in a bottle in liquid form. <laughs> like I'm a, I, y'all see, <laughs> it's literally a blunt in a bottle. When wow. I tell you, this girl got a cup of drink, right, and she ain't even touched the alcohol I ain't even drink. Touched the alcohol. She been drinking that. First, she said, "Oh, this is hard. I I gotta stop because this is this is strong." Then I'm over here watching her. She just kept drinking. I'm like, she said it's, it's strong. It's like a blunt in a bottle. And she you, she couldn't stop putting it down. <laughs> wow. Man, so how can people get a hold of you, Nina? Um, Instagram, Nina Loretta. Facebook, Nina Loretta. Twitter, at the Nina Loretta. And yeah, all music streaming uh, platforms, Nina Loretta. YouTube, Nina Loretta. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We love for you. For sure. I love y'all, too. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out. 